Hi, this is Patrick from Patrick's Art Simplifying. Um, I'd just like to show you this picture. And it's a picture that I did out of a leopard and it has texture on the left hand side and it's got a little bit on the right. I did this by while the paper was still wet with pigment. Not too wet, but well, the thing is that it varies depending on how wet um, the paper is, the effect changes. But anyway, I uh, did that and I want to show you how to use that to do flowers in a field or uh, possibly even different sorts of flowers or snow on a tree. Uh, I'm going to do a, a very simple monochrome painting as I said in my last video and we'll see how it goes and I'll add a bit of salt just to uh, mix it up. Anyway, talk to you soon. Well, before we get started, I just want to show you some of the stuff that I'll be using uh, to show you how simple it is to do a painting with, well, I said one color, but I'm going to be using two just to uh, produce a darker tone. But let's have a look. Okay. What I'll be using is the Bohong uh, 300 uh, GSM paper from the, on the block and I've already taped it off. I've put the border around it. Uh, I'll be using brushes. They're just cheap. I just didn't want to uh, make it so that you couldn't use cheaper brushes. Uh, I'll show you some of the reasons why you use better brushes. but. Uh, these are just Montmartre. This is a Montmartre 10 round, this one. This one's a number four flat. And this one is a six round. And I've also got a very cheap goat hair brush. It's Montmartre as well. It's not that um, I'm yeah, giving them a rave or anything like that. I use them uh, when I first got started in watercolour, because that's what the art shop sold. Um, and this isn't a plug for these guys either, but I'm just using Saxa salt. This is just the ordinary table salt. And this one is the Himalayan salt. But it's, the difference is this one, this one's fine and this one's granulated. Um, yeah, so anyway. The two colours that I'm using, they're Holbein, and I'll be using this one, Holbein Indigo, and Holbein, oh, can't see it from this side, uh, that's better, Holbein, this one, Holbein uh, Sepia. Anyway, let's get started. Now, I'm going to use this one rather than the other one. Now, I'm just, at the moment, I'm just wetting this thing. Uh, I've got a, now let's just show you this. My water bucket is just the bottom of an apple, um, what is it, a four litre, or four litre um, apple juice container. I use a lot of water so that I can keep it reasonably clean. So I'm just wetting this brush a lot and uh, so that I can um, use it to what I'm going to do is I'm going to just saturate the top of the page not with bucket loads of water um, but you know with enough to to make it wet 